One of the most difficult things in choosing to follow Jesus is making the firm decision to disassociate with people that you know are bad influences. Disassociating from people make you separate and it causes people to start making accusations against you. They may say that you think that you are holier than thou or that you think that you are better than everyone else. They will come against you with all sorts of accusations and it will be difficult to do what Jesus said. Jesus called us to disassociate with people who are in sin. This does not mean that we never talk to them. Jesus talked to sinners and he rebuked the hypocrites. But he did not do as the hypocrites and the sinners did. Jesus was separate because he kept himself holy and pure before his God. We need to keep ourselves holy and pure. And the problem with the modern day church, with the Christians of today, is they refuse to disconnect from the people who are in sin. A synonym of the word associate is join together or come together or unite. And so many Christians have united themselves with sinners and they cannot possibly enter the kingdom of God because they themselves are joined together with sinners. I want to read to you what Jesus said about these sorts of servants. This is found in Matthew chapter 24. I'm starting in verse 48. But if that evil servant says in his heart, My master is delaying his coming and begins to beat his fellow servants and to eat and drink with drunkards. The master of that servant will come on a day when he is not looking for him and at an hour that he is not aware of and will cut him in two and appoint his portion with the hypocrites. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. You see, according to Jesus, it is a very severe punishment for those servants who start to eat and drink with drunkards. This means connecting with sinners, connecting with hypocrites. You cannot follow Jesus and associate with sinners. You have to come out and be separate. This is the message from Jesus, and if you don't like it, you're going to have to face him on the day of judgment. Make sure that if you're wanting to follow Jesus, you come out and are separate from those who are in sin. May the grace of Jesus be with you.